there's a growing sense that Fujifilm may be preparing one of its boldest moves in years, and it starts with a simple but unsettling question, what if the X-Pro4 never happens at all? Instead of following the expected sequence, Fujifilm may be clearing the slate and introducing an X-Pro5 as a symbolic and technical reset for the line. At first glance, the naming debate sounds trivial, but it actually hints at something much deeper. Skipping a number suggests intention. It implies that Fujifilm doesn't see the next X-Pro as a routine update, but as a camera that needs to justify a generational leap. That alone changes how we should read the leaks in the unusually long development timeline now being discussed. Multiple rumor sources now point toward early 2026 as the most realistic launch window. That timing matters. If Fujifilm wanted to refresh the X-Pro series with minor tweaks, a late 2025 release would make far more sense. The fact that the company appears comfortable waiting longer suggests substantial internal changes are underway. This is not the cadence of a cosmetic update or a small sensor bump. It looks far more like a carefully paced rebuild, one that aligns the X-Pro philosophy with modern expectations without stripping away what made the camera special in the first place. Fujifilm seems to understand that the X-Pro audience is small but deeply loyal, and disappointing them would do more harm than delaying the product. Sensor rumors are where the conversation starts to feel serious. Several independent reports mention a next-generation X-Trans sensor in the 40-megapixel class, likely derived from Fujifilm's more recent high-resolution APS-C bodies. If accurate, this would immediately modernize the X-Pro's output, especially for photographers who rely on fine detail, cropping flexibility, and rich tonal transitions. Paired with a newer, faster processor, the improvements wouldn't be limited to resolution alone. Faster readout speeds would reduce rolling shutter artifacts, improve burst performance, and unlock better video capabilities. Dynamic range could also see a noticeable jump, particularly in challenging lighting conditions where older X-Pro models began to show their age. Yet the most transformative rumor isn't about resolution at all. It's about in-body image stabilization. For years, IBIS has been the most requested feature among X-Pro users and the most difficult one for Fujifilm to implement. The rangefinder-style body leaves little room for sensor shift mechanisms, and preserving the camera's balance and feel adds another layer of complexity. But if Fujifilm has truly found a way to integrate IBIS without compromising the form factor, the implications are enormous. Suddenly, low-light street shooting becomes more forgiving. Slower shutter speeds become practical. Longer lenses feel more usable. The X-Pro would no longer rely solely on fast primes or perfect technique to shine after dark. What makes this particularly interesting is how IBIS would change the way the X-Pro is used, not just how it performs. Previous generations rewarded deliberate, steady shooting but demanded compromises. With stabilization on board, the camera becomes more flexible without necessarily becoming more complicated. That balance is critical. The X-Pro has always been about intention, about slowing down and engaging with the scene. The challenge for Fujifilm is adding capability without turning the camera into just another spec-driven tool. If IBIS arrives quietly, doing its job in the background, it could enhance the experience rather than overwhelm it. The hybrid viewfinder remains the soul of the X-Pro, and thankfully, leaks suggest Fujifilm understands this. Rather than reinventing the concept, the company appears to be refining it. Expect smoother transitions between optical and electronic modes, a faster EVF refresh rate, and improved parallax correction when using the optical finder. These changes won't grab headlines, but they matter enormously in daily use. A more responsive finder reduces friction. Better alignment builds confidence. The goal seems to be polishing what already works instead of chasing novelty for its own sake. Build quality is another area where incremental improvements can have outsized impact. A sturdier magnesium alloy chassis, enhanced weather sealing, and modern conveniences like USB-C power delivery are all widely expected. None of these features are revolutionary on their own, but together they bring the X-Pro in line with contemporary expectations without altering its identity. Ergonomic refinements may also appear, perhaps a subtly reshaped grip or repositioned buttons that improve comfort while keeping the familiar control layout intact. The success of the camera will depend on how invisible these changes feel in practice. Of course, not everyone agrees on what this long gap in the X-Pro lineup means. Some see it as evidence that Fujifilm is slowly deprioritizing the series, shifting focus toward higher volume models like the X, T, and X, H, lines. From a business perspective, that argument isn't unreasonable. Those cameras sell in greater numbers and appeal to a broader audience. 
However, there's another interpretation that feels just as plausible. The extended silence may indicate that Fujifilm knows the next X-Pro has to be exceptional. In a crowded mirrorless market, a niche camera needs a clear purpose, not just loyal fans. If the rumored specifications come together, the X-Pro5 could serve a very specific group of photographers extremely well. Street shooters who value discretion, image quality, and intuitive handling would benefit immediately from the higher resolution sensor in IBIS. Documentary photographers working in unpredictable environments would gain stabilization, improved dynamic range, and a more dependable tool overall. Even some video shooters could find value here, especially those who prioritize portability and a low-profile setup over dedicated cinema features. At the same time, purists who love the X-Pro precisely because it resists modern trends may feel conflicted. There's a fine line between evolution and dilution, and Fujifilm will be walking it carefully. When you zoom out, the pattern becomes clearer. Everything about these rumors points toward a deliberate, meaningful update rather than a token refresh. A new sensor architecture, a faster processor, potential IBIS, a refined hybrid viewfinder, and a tougher, more modern body all suggest a camera designed to last for years, not just fill a gap in the lineup. What will ultimately validate these rumors are the usual milestones, certification filings, official teasers, and eventually real-world testing. Until then, the X-Pro remains a promise rather than a product, but it's a compelling one. Interestingly, this sense of quiet reinvention doesn't stop with the X-Pro line. Similar energy is building around the rumored X, T, 6, which appears poised to push Fujifilm's APS-C strategy even further. Unlike the X-Pro, the X, T, series has always balanced retro controls with broader appeal, and the leaks suggest Fujifilm is doubling down on that formula. The classic SLR-inspired design is expected to remain, complete with dedicated dials for shutter speed, ISO, and exposure compensation. These controls aren't just aesthetic choices, they define how many photographers interact with the camera, relying on muscle memory rather than menus. What's changing is everything underneath that familiar exterior. Reports point to a tougher magnesium alloy body, stronger weather sealing, and a slightly deeper grip to better balance larger lenses. A fully articulating 3.2-inch touchscreen is also rumored, a practical upgrade for vloggers, gimbal users, and anyone shooting from unconventional angles. The electronic viewfinder could see a significant resolution bump as well, further blurring the line between APS-C and full-frame shooting experiences. In short, the X, T, 6 aims to feel familiar while quietly becoming far more capable. Taken together, these two rumor streams paint a picture of a company quietly but decisively reshaping its APS-C lineup. The X-Pro appears destined for a thoughtful, almost philosophical evolution, while the X, T, 6 aims to push performance and versatility forward without abandoning tradition. Not every rumor will materialize, but if even the core ones prove true, Fujifilm could be setting the stage for one of the strongest periods in its recent history. Whether you're drawn to the ritual of rangefinder shooting or the flexibility of a hybrid workhorse, the next generation of Fujifilm cameras may finally offer fewer compromises and more clarity about who they're really for.